Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. You guys asked for it and I got it. I finally found it. It is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. It's the 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. And I got this one in Chestnut. There is one after this. One more uh, deeper shade after this one. So I'm hoping, you know, this will do it for me. I didn't want to get both. They were $9.99 in Walgreens where I went, okay? Uh, first of all, I just want to say it's a pump, so I'm so happy about that. So let's get started with it. It says that it is medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free, long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. So let's just give it a go. Now, I'm going to apply, you know, I was going to apply a different primer today, but I said, let me go with the primer I've been using. So I don't want any surprises. So let me go with the Becca. You guys know I use that a lot. I use this one in my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily. I've already applied my lotion. That was the Cetaphil lotion for all skin types. So I'm just doing the Becca where I get the most oily. Right there on my cheek, nose right there. On the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the La Base Pro Pore Eraser, and this is from Lancome. I think I showed this in my full coverage routine. So all the other places where I don't get too greasy, I use this. This is more like silicone base. It's more of a softer primer. All right, it says to apply it with a brush or your hand, but since my brush that I like to use all the time is dirty, I'm going to use a beauty blender, and I'm just going to squirt one pump okay on the back of my hand I had to pump it kind of twice because it was air in there but anyway that's what it looks like it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match so let's see you guys know plenty of blemishes I have recently had a breakout so I'm getting back on track but you guys know I have lots of discoloration and stuff like that so let's see how this works That's what we're looking like. That's before. And this is after. Pretty darn good coverage, if you ask me. Pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to continue on the other side. I'm still working on just a little bit of residue on my hand, but I think I'm going to use a second pump or at least a half a pump. I'm not sure if I'm smelling this foundation or something else I might have used. Because I'm going to say, um, this has a very light scent, but it could be something else that's on my hand. I'm not sure. But it's a pleasant scent, whatever it is. Okay, guys, I got up a little closer. I hope I was kind of focused throughout the thing because my cameraman just came home. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> cameraman just came home, so I could have been out of focus the entire time. Came home from break. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, let's go to break. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, pretty good darn coverage. Pretty good coverage. I'm very, very surprised. I am too. Thank you. Very, very good coverage. Look at that. No color correcting, nothing. That is beautiful, guys. Y'all told me to buy it. You guys were right. You guys were right. Over 18 requests to buy this foundation, and you guys were right. It's very nice. You could buy several of these for backup. If I see this in the store again, and got, I have the money on me, I'm going to get me another one. 
because I can see this as an everyday foundation. This is very nice to go to work in anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, you sold me on this one. If it lasts through with my primer and everything throughout the day, it will be a definite keeper. This is very nice coverage. No concealers, no nothing yet. So, of course, I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, you know, my contour and highlight and all of that stuff. And I'll be back with my completed look. So, this is your completed look. Uh, for my powder, I did use the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And this is in Milk Chocolate Finish. Looks like that. It's a really big finishing powder so I use my biggest brush this is the Sigma large powder brush the F30 tapped it in there and just you know hit up those spots I used my cameo contour stick from pure cosmetics and this is in uh, deep okay you guys have seen me use this before a little bit of blush on my cheeks uh, this is from Milani, it's called Coral Cove. You got to be very light with it. I applied it in the back of my cheeks, not right here, just in the back there. On my lips, I use just a brown pencil liner and this uh, Iman Luxury Lip Shimmer. And this is in the shade Muse. I really like that. For my eyes, I use the Wet n Wild palette, the Naked Truth. Reminds me of the Vanity palette. And there it is right there. So everything pretty much drugstore friendly. And I am loving this foundation. Thank you guys so much for asking me to review it. I possibly would not have picked it up if all of you guys weren't raving about it. So thank you so much. All right. So I'm going to take a few pictures with it. Again, I'm going to come back maybe in about a week or so and let you guys know how I like it, how it wore during the day in this hot Florida sun, you know, how it's feeling and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, if it oxidizes and stuff, I hate when things like when it turns too orangey. So we'll see. We'll see. And that's about it. All right. So cyber kisses. And the eyeshadow tutorial, my brow tutorial, and I have some swatch stuff, lip swatches and other things coming up very shortly. So stay tuned to the channel. If you're looking for a way to support this channel, just please share my videos. That's all I ask. Thumbs up and that's it. Also, follow me on Snapchat. I really appreciate it. We're having fun over there with the entire family. So, it's not just about makeup over on Snapchat. I do a little bit of everything. House stuff, everything. So, it's not, you know, and makeup and beat face and everything over there. We're having fun. Just regular family. That's what we do. Alright. Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.